Hey guys, it's Gus Mitchell. I'm here at the Honey House and I wanted to share a tip with you guys about these squares that I use for stacking buckets. So these buckets are pretty heavy duty. I get these from Arkansas Glass. Uh, I think they're considerably thicker than what you get at Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot or any of that. But there's still a risk that when stacking these buckets, they won't support the weight and they'll telescope into one another, uh, creating a nightmare for you. Uh, it's pretty risky because all the weight when you stack it without these squares is solely on the lid. Uh, when you use these, these plywood squares or scrap wood squares, you're allowing the weight to be distributed all the way around the rim of the bucket and the bucket itself takes the weight. Now, I used to stack these five high, but I've quit that because it's difficult um, to lift that heavy of an object that high without putting yourself at risk for injury. So I'm not trying to hurt myself and, and four is pretty good. But uh, these little squares allow you to save a lot of space in your honey house. I'm sure a lot of you guys have limited space um, like me. So if that's the case, these work great. This is 11 inches by 11 inches. And these are just, just scrap wood from job sites. You see this was some kind of um, sheathing or siding, same as this. This was just some uh, scrap plywood that was picked up. It doesn't have to be anything special. Uh, it can be a quarter inch, it can be half inch, whatever you, you can find and source um, works great. These were all primarily uh, gotten from my friend Robert Hodum and my friend Sammy Martis. Uh, Sammy gave me a lot of these. Uh, I have stacks and stacks of them and they, they really help out. Um, so again, if you're wanting to save some space and you're wanting to be able to stack your buckets uh, and not worry about the risk, these work great in distributing the weight. And they are 11 inches by 11 inches. Thanks for watching.